What is this? Punko versus Daigo Umahara? Whoa. What is this match? I don't remember this. James is wearing a suit? This was so eSports. Man, that's crazy. And Unicorn Poppy is putting the E in my eSports with the 499 sub. Thanks for the uh, sub, homie. Yeah, David with his checkered shirt. Oh, this is for this is for fourth place. What the? F this is loser semis. Damn! Look at how esports Daigo is. What's up with his eyes? Daigo usually doesn't have this going on, does he? What happened right here? Does he always look like this? I know he used to drink more, or maybe he's drinking more now. I'm not sure. All right. Punko's got to look. No, no. All right. There we go. There we go. Oh, fuck. All right. There's a little bit of a mix up there. This is before Red Bull Daigo. This is when he's Mad Cats. Look, he's got the scratches. Oh, I forgot. It's head to head. Well, side, I guess side by side, sort of, but also it's like head to head. I was in the crowd. I was like right here somewhere i was in like third row i snuck in i had a regular ticket and i snuck into the vip area because i wanted to sit close and watch the fucking matches because if you were in the regular seating you had to sit like nine rows back and that shit was all empty i was like nah man i'm not sitting nine rows back i'm getting up in there man this is such this is the most like street fighter four match i've ever like matchup right this is like one of the most Street Fighter 4 matchups at the end of Ultra anyway. Seth is such a bullshit character in this game. Man, he is so stupid. I swear a lot. On my home stream, yeah, I don't really swear. I never swear on commentary. Uh, but on my own stream, yeah, I swear a lot. This is such a stupid matchup. Punko, you know the thing about footsies is that Punko plays much more footsies than this version of Seth. It's more risky not to. Oh, that button is cheap. Probably one of the best buttons Evil Ryu has. Standing medium kick. Because it has a... The way the hitbox works is like this is the hitbox. And the hurtbox is like down at the bottom. So at like low profiles, it beats many buttons. It low profiles lots of moves like that. You see that? Yeah, Evil Ryu does get good combos on Seth. He gets stand medium kick. See? He gets standing medium kick because of the way Axe Kick hits on him. So he has character specific combos that do more damage on Seth, who's already a low health character. Uppercut? Oh, a jab's not a bad idea either. Yeah, exactly. He gets close medium kick. It hits chunky on this man. Uh oh. He just waited for the uppercut. Chase them down. That's a punish. Jab Fighter 4. I forgot about the Jab Fighter. Oh, man. Standing Medium Kick is a, one of the most spammable buttons that in this game, honestly. It's such a spammable button. Man, low forward fireball safe. Like, any range, non-fucking interruptible. Doesn't matter what you do dead oh shit that was tight he actually was at the right range that time all right 50 50 time yeah that's a negative mix up damn he had a lot of damage off that focus absorb <gasps> man Bunko always looks so pissed he always looks so pissed, doesn't he? Wow, this is such a smaller crowd than I remember. A lot of these seats are empty. There's a lot of people there, that's for sure, but... Damn. Take off the shirt? Nah, it was cold in that room, man. Tatsu, maybe? Nah, he was already committed to Roundhouse. Yeah, doing the fo tapping focus there is not a bad idea to try to avoid it. But he can just do this mix-up too, yeah. See, he blocked. He had to respect uppercut FADC. Which obviously Daigo does once or twice in his life. No uppercut? 
Yeah, I guess contesting Seth out of the air is pretty scary. Damn, look at how much fucking life that focus absorb was. Oh no. God, that's a lot of damage. Jab DP? All right. Trade? Yeah. You can sort of OS that, right? You do the uppercut, and then if it trades, you can just input the EX upper, uh, the EX fireball. Wait, is this the year that Totino's is in there? What a year. <laughs> the WTF, a lot of people are like, what? Yeah, anti-fireball. It's projectile invincible. Chip kills. It does chip. Chip does kill in this game, yeah, uppercut. He saw it. He was flying. That's such a weird button. Oh, no. He's going to be stunned. One hit. Double uppercut for more meter. He's dead in one hit now. I mean, he was... Damn, he lost so much fucking life and stun. That Seth-specific combo does a lot more stun, too. You get another axe kick if you want it. Yeah. <laughs> Two games in a row, we got Uppercut, FADC, Ultra. Daigo was swinging, man. That was a lot of damage. People talk about Street Fighter V damage, yeah, but that damage was pretty high, right? That was a lot of fucking damage. <laughs> Chilling. There's a lot of damage in this game, especially both of these characters do a lot of damage. And also, this... Fucking guy's character Seth is pretty, pretty wild. Although to be fair, he has always struggled against Daigo. It feels like ever since uh, there's a tournament. I'm trying to think it was Master Series, I think, where he got beat, or was it the the Asia Ten Man Invitational or Eight Man Invitational with the round robin? No, he couldn't uppercut there because he was committed to dive kick punish. If he was a regular jump, he could have uppercut. Nice chase down. Oh, uh, fifty fifty. Wow, he could have. Alright. Yeah, this is a really high damage explosive matchup. It's a lot of mix ups. Evil Ryu is weird on the footsies in this matchup because, yeah, his low forward is so dangerous, but Seth has so many ways to kind of traverse around it with this kind of stuff, right? Off the wall. Do you see that reversal medium kick? That button is wild, is it not? Down jab. Daigo's just like, fuck it, medium kick. What a button, honestly. That was an ultra. He dies in one hit here. Oh, <laughs> no bar uppercut. God damn, Punko's wild. SF5 has more damage because of crash counter only. The damage is pretty comparable. Yeah, he, he was blocking from the uppercut there off the FADC. Oh, damn. Even the uppercut did a lot of damage. Car throw. He doesn't want the left-right mix-up. He just wanted, like, damage. You don't want to deal with autocorrect DP, probably. Or SPD reversal or something. Oh, no. Cancel or anything. Stomp, stomp. Punish. It's a read. Yeah, that's a straight 50-50. When you get hit by low forward FADC, you're going to expect command throw here, right? That's why Daigo tries to jump. Evil Ryu and SF5, that motherfucker, he's Akuma. Akuma in this game is very, like, Evil Ryu-esque. Emphasis on the low forward fireball, big damage and setups, strong dive kick. Uh, mix-up. Or I got a demon flip mix-up, which is kind of like the, di the dive kick mix-up it used to have. It's a it's a tough mix up, tough tough character to deal with. Damn wall jump from full screen. I forgot what this game is like. Yeah, chase down. I like this stage. This is actually one of my favorite Street Fighter Four stages. Sound is out of sync. Oh, I can fix that. What are we at? 839. 
Uppercut? Oh, he can win in one hit, basically. Too far for the big, big combo. Oh, he got him. There's almost no escape when you're charging focus against Seth with Ultra. <laughs> Tongue out and everything. I like Evo Ryu. Evo Ryu is a fun character. And that uppercut does not do that much damage, huh? Oh, he's so much gray damage. Or white damage? I don't remember what we called it in this game. Well, it was a good round while it lasted. That button, man. That button just beats everything. I don't remember what people called the focus life in this. That was pretty high on the body. I I, I don't mind the uppercut. Oh, he lost so much life already. Gray life? I guess it was gray life, yeah. Damn, he didn't have it. Oh my god! <laughs> it was a little medium kick, I thought. No, it was a button. Punish, yeah. Fierce of the punish. What is his fierce in this game? Oh, it didn't. Jesus Christ. Fierce in this game from Seth is like minus 11 or something? It's pretty negative. Two apiece. I was definitely cheering my ass off for Daigo. I'll tell you guys that. I was a big Daigo fan. Man, low forward fireball from Yuri is so good. Minus 14? Yeah. Oh, no. You made a big fucking mistake. Did you see how much life he had? His life is right. All right, let's mark it. His life is right there. Look at how much life he lost because of that. Oh, fuck. Is that Abigail? He landed with down strong? All right, he's crazy. I forgot about Daigo. I forgot what he was like. He just doesn't have any friends, huh? Hitting crouching medium punch there. Yeah, that was no bar, right? Yeah, that was a meterless punish. Watch some KI on here. Punish. Oh, he went, he got real greedy there. He tried to frame trap. He's gonna wall jump again? Oh. Damn, air tatsu safe all the way in? That's fucking crazy. I forgot what it was like. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah, Daigo is, is a nut, but in this game, he was more of a... Look at him go. Look at Daigo go. He's like fucking full pursuit. The down jab. Yeah, late down jab is very safe. Look at this whole round. Daigo is airborne for like 90... Per this is what I like about R Daigo's Evil Ryu in this game. He just jumps, jumps, just uh, lands and uppercuts. Jump, Tatsu, jump again. <laughs> Uppercut, jump, <laughs> jump. <laughs> <laughs> he legit jumps like seven times right there. That's kind of how you have to fight south of this character sometimes. Dash, hop kick, sweep, jump, jab. Like the way you fight, <laughs> the way you have to fight against Seth in this game sometimes is just like that. That's actually what Seth makes you do because he, he has like every tool to make you not sit still and like be like stuck. So you just have to run for your life sometime. This, my man Daigo was sprinting.